Hey, I'm going to show you a little bit about a deluxe reverb. This one is uh, from the mid 60s. It's got a normal channel and a vibrato channel. I usually plug into the vibrato channel into input one here. And uh, here's your volume, which I usually run at about three on a big stage or small stage. No matter what, three works, or just maybe a tiny bit over three. Treble, I usually turn between six and eight. Bass, I usually run at about five or six. Here's the reverb control, which uh, I run usually maybe seven to ten, depending. Uh, here's your vibrato control. This is intensity, how much of the effect is coming out the speaker, and here's the speed, how fast it oscillates. So it's got a single 12. Here's the little pilot lamp, pilot light thing. Deluxe reverb, cool scripted logo, Fender musical instruments, and uh, normal channel. I don't usually plug into that. It's got the cool metal logo. That uh, beautiful baffle has been aged by uh, time and smoke and dirt. Let's just turn this bad boy around. This has got a single 12 inch speaker. I think I've got a new speaker baffle in here, the wood piece here that it attaches to. The old one was like particle board and it had disintegrated or broken down. So we got a new one. So uh, it's got um, an AC output, which I would never use. Uh, a ground, which I don't need because we uh, replace the power cable with a uh, um, grounded plug. Should always do that with a vintage amp. That's the first thing I do is get that switched out. So uh, here's your fuse. When you turn these on, you just hit the power. And then uh, when you're ready to rock, you hit the standby. Here's the speaker output if you want to run to another cab right there. So you can tell it's an old amp because it's got that cloth wiring. Another thing to look for, there's an extension speaker, but another thing to tell these from a reissue, first thing I look at is these little jacks should be RCA female jacks. If they're a quarter inch, that means it's a reissue. That's a quick way to tell if it's a reissue or not. So here's the vib where the vibrato pedal would go into, which I don't really use this. I should take it out, really. Uh, but this has got uh, RCA jacks, and they go in there, and you can turn the vibrato and reverb on and off with these foot switches. But it kind of adds some weird clicking and strange noises through the speaker, so I don't really use that. Um, so anyway, yeah, your vibrato. What I got is a uh, RCA male jack that's been like shorted out. I just stick that in the vibrato side so then I can control the vibrato on the front by hand. Reverb's always on. Here's your reverb output and reverb input that goes down to the reverb tank sitting down here. It's a like an Accutronics. And that's a spring reverb, not digital, <laughs> of course. So it's got a 12-inch Eminence Legend in there, made in USA. I've tried a lot of different speakers. Um, my ears are just not good enough to tell the difference, so I just kind of trust, you know, maybe reviews or something. But uh, if I had my way, I'd probably get more of a vintage speaker or a period correct one. But this one seems to really project, and it's pretty loud. Just, this amp is like a perfect size for any venue. Um, if I had to have only one amp, I'd probably pick this one. The reverb sounds great. The tremolo sounds good. Um, it's got two 6V6 output tubes. These are vintage RCA. The rectifier is here. Here's all the preamp tubes. Um, they're mostly vintage tubes. Serial numbers right up here. Tube charts over here. Uh, this amp never breaks down. It always works. It always sounds really good. Uh, it just really delivers a performance without um, 
this is very reliable um, so I really appreciate that that you can get good if it was like a, what do you call it a printed circuit board if it took a tumble it could break that circuit board so that would be the, kind of the end of the amp I think so these you, you know if something drifts out of spec you can just change a transistor or resistor or whatever those little components are and so I have it maintained regularly if anything if it acts up we get it fixed right away and uh, so if you ever see a deluxe reverb at a garage sale or something um, just look for you know like cloth wire the uh, RCA jacks if you see an AC jack that's probably an old amp or ground I don't know if they have those grounds but the the reissues look different than um, the original Fender Factory old guys. So of course I really love the original, you know, mid '60s stuff. So there you go. If you ever see one of these, um, I would advise you do everything you can to uh, snag it and get it to your amp tech. Have them look it over. Make sure it's safe and enjoy it for uh, decades. That's what I do. Thanks.